The idea of a flying military base may sound like a crazy and futuristic plot of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually possible. When we are talking about a flying military base we are not referring to something like the Avengers flying aircraft carrier, but something more realistic, and for sure a lot smaller. In 2021, what would be the usage of such a flying base or carrier? Would it make a big difference in the battle or would be a waste of money? Let's see how feasible such a concept and what its implications would be. Hypothetically, with the level of technology we have in our hands today, we could probably build a flying base. But of course, the base wouldn't make any sense if it couldn't move or relocate itself, right? The concept of such a moving flying base would still make little sense considering the crazy amounts of energy it would require to stay on the air. Ultimately, what are the advantages of a flying base that a moving ground base doesn't have? That's where the concept of a flying aircraft carrier makes sense. This type of aerial base is the most likely option to be a realistic project at some point. Still, it will face a lot of issues, but at least we know its purpose. DAPRA came up with even a better and more realistic idea in mind. The organization wants to build flying aircraft carriers for drones specifically. Considering the importance of unmanned aerial vehicles in this day and age, this proposal has a bit more practicality to it. Drones aren't as heavy as manned aircraft, they cost less and need less space to take off and operate in general. If this project ever comes to production it would make drone use more effective, as it would help them surpass one of their biggest disadvantages, their flying range. The concept still faces an array of issues. First of all, drones can take off and land on aircraft carriers too. Taking in mind that the US Navy deploys carriers all over the globe, it can also operate drones in most parts of the planet too. So, a flying drone carrier would mainly prove useful on the ground. Cost is a huge consideration of the project too. Even if such a concept can be further developed, it would be prohibitively expensive to build it and operate it. And in the actual battle, we already know that it's a lot easier to shot down a flying carrier than a floating one. So, is it worth the risk after all? <laughs>